was detained at a checkpoint near the White House driving a car that was deemed suspicious. You can see it right there. And just last weekend, remember, a fence jumper managed to spend nearly 17 minutes on the White House grounds before he was apprehended. ABC's Gloria Rivera kicks off our coverage from Washington this morning. Good morning, Gloria. Good morning, Paula. Dan, overnight, yet another security incident at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This time, a man reportedly declaring he had a bomb and pulling up to the White House in a car. He was stopped at the gate by Secret Service and arrested there. This is the third high-profile White House scare coming in a little over a week. This incident coming just hours after an intruder jumped the White House barrier before being detained on Saturday. This one, while President Trump is away in Mar-a-Lago, but just last week, while the president and his family were inside the White House, Secret Service says suspect Jonathan Tran was able to roam the property for 16 minutes. He cleared two fences, walking right up to the mansion, even hiding behind a pillar before Secret Service was able to corral and arrest him. These latest incidents put the Secret Service under increased scrutiny as congressional investigators express concerns about these repeated security incidents and lawmakers demand to know how security breaches like these could happen. Dan, Paula. The Secret Service understood.